Hello everybody, Francisco and I from Mibel Biochemistry are here in Sandwich, UK, visiting a very special company called Venom Tech. And with us is Steve Trim, he's the Hello. managing Welcome. director. And Steve, tell me exactly what is Venom Tech doing? Venom Tech is a unique biochemical company, and what we are doing is collecting venoms from spiders and scorpions and snakes and many things. Uh, to actually look at its biochemical properties and how they could be useful to us, both as drugs but also as cosmetics and agrochemicals. So how can a venom be profitable or beneficial for a patient? How does that work? That's a very good question because most people think the venom is being dangerous and the truth is they are when they come out of the animal in their whole form. But they are a complex mixture of proteins and peptides and some of those are beneficial and some are dangerous. Um, a great example is the first ever high blood pressure medication came from snake venom because that particular snake caused a catastrophic drop in blood pressure when it bites people. Steve, I see here a lot of enclosures with scorpions and spiders. Can you tell us what you have here? Yeah, so um, at Venom Tech here we have about 600 animals, uh, mostly spiders and scorpions. Uh, but also uh, anemones and soft corals as well. Uh, and they're all here for uh, venom collection to study their venoms for a for, wide for variety of uses. And it's about 120 species. Great. Can you show me some of these spiders? Yeah, certainly. So um, over here we have some of our South American spiders, uh, classically called tarantulas, but we would know them as uh, thelophosids. And um, these are very long lived species. Some of those females will live about 20 years and uh, produce venom throughout that time for us. Over on this side, we have um, many of our scorpions, and these are the non dangerous scorpions, but their venom is still very useful. So for us, it's not a lab full of the most dangerous things we could find, and um, there are dangerous venomous animals here. But all spiders that are venomous, uh, it's like most of them, uh, are, are potential use. Francisco, on your work on hypersensitive skin, you discovered that peptides can interact with nerve cell receptors. Tell us a little bit about your research here. Yes, so research has shown that in sensitive skin, a receptor called TRPV1, or also called pain receptor, is very important in sensitive skin. Because in a very sensitive skin, the receptor is overactive, which means that it overreacts to environmental stimuli such as heat or chemicals you put on your skin. And this results in a burning or itching sensation or even a pain sensation in your skin. Therefore, for sensitive skin, it's very important to block or inhibit this overreaction of this receptor. Thank you, Francisco. Yes, and then Steve came on board and he has discovered that the leathery sea anemone has some interesting molecules and that's the way how we started our collaboration with Venom Tech. Steve, tell us a little bit about your uh, sea anemone. So what we discovered in the, um, the leathery sea anemone is the um, large peptide that actually blocks TRPV1 or otherwise known as TRPV1 and so this is quite a large protein and but we knew how it was blocking the receptor and how it was reducing pain. We then set about to actually engineer this to get the, the active component from that peptide and shorten it down to, to make the Sensamone P5 that we have now. Great. Francisco, tell us now how you could use this uh, venom of Steve to develop our new product, uh, Sensamone P5. Yes, as Steve has already said, there's this full length protein in the venom of C anemone and uh, together we designed a peptide that through the amino acid sequence and the structure of the protein we could capture the activity of the protein and put it in this 5 amino acid peptide. And indeed uh, we could show that the peptide has the ability to inhibit the TRPV1 or TRIP1 receptor. And we could also show its, um, its function on sensitive skin in clinical studies. So yes, finally this is a very interesting project and we want to thank you Steve for your collaboration, uh, the collaboration with Venom Tech and to make that really live we would like to have you as a member of Venom Tech 
at our booth and our distributor meeting to tell our distributors about our collaboration. Could you come to In Cosmetics London to see us? It would be a great pleasure for myself and my colleague Paul to come and join you at In Cosmetics in London. Great, thank you.